Hi everybody, welcome to Kids Club. We're so glad that you're back with us today. It's going to be another fun day of Kids Club. Well, where's Miss Stacy? She was here a minute ago. I, I don't know where she went. I, Stacy, Miss Stacy, Miss Stacy, where are you? Well, I don't see her. I don't see her. Oh, Miss Skittle Skittles. Miss Skittle Skittle Diddles. What's up, Kids Club Kids? Whoa, my special guest. I'm Whoa. so excited. Whoa. Me too. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow, I'll hold this up for you, Miss Skittles right. Skittles. Because you know what? No matter what I am going through, I can have peace. You can? I can. Whoa. We're going to find out how you can have peace, too. Oh, oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Maybe you can make this symbol at home. This symbol is a symbol for peace. Peace. Wow. We'll see if that's the kind of peace that we're going to talk about or not. Can, can we say this with you, Miss Gill? Yes, let's say it all together. together. Okay. No matter yeah. what, what I'm going, going through, through, I can have peace. peace. Oh, that's a good one, Miss oh, Kittles. Oh, oh, let's say, let's make the peace sign while she goes out. Woo wee! Wow. Oh, kids, wasn't that fun? Wow, that's so exciting. Oh, oh Miss Daisy, you're back. I am. Did oh, you start without me? Well, we had a special visitor. It was, <gasps> it was Miss Skittles Skedaddles. I missed the fun call. I'll oh, have to watch on YouTube. And you know what? She, she taught us that today's lesson is going to be about peas. Peas? Yeah, peas. No, 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 yeah, no, peas. no. You switched that all wrong. It's not about peas. It's not I about a lesson peas. about peas. No, yeah, they're gross, especially in the can. They're nasty. Well, well she said peas, but I, I might want to hear about peas. Peas? We're gonna hear about peace, like like peace on earth, like that kind of peace. That sounds really cool. Ah, oh, yeah, peace. It sounds like peas. Yeah, I get why you were confused, but I think this is gonna be better. Oh, okay. I'm ready to hear about peace. All right. I think that'll be really, really cool. So, I think Miss Stacy has some news for us. Isn't that cool news? I like to hear news. I do. In your activity packet that you have at your house, you can make your, and if you worked on your fruit basket, find your fruit that is peace. And it's purple because it's a plum. And if you haven't done that yet, you can do that later on. Okay, so you make sure to find your peace fruit and put that in your basket if you haven't done that. If you made the whole basket already, that's great. But still find the peace fruit. So there's one. Oh, that's cool. And then, Purple. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness, mm -hmm. on Saturday in your mailbox or on your porch, you should have found an advent bag. And there's all kinds of terrific goodies in the bag for you and your family to do because we're now in the season of Advent. We're getting ready for Christmas. And there's something to do every single day. I'm not going to show you everything that's in the bag. I'm just going to show you that there's a calendar. And then there's all kinds of directions for what you're going to do. There's some things to make some crafts and projects. 
Oh my goodness. Let's try so there's oh. some food. Food. I there's see hot chocolate. Hot chocolate and some muffins and popcorn and candy canes. There's some things to have some snacks. But oh. you need to do the activities that go along with them. That sounds like fun. And there's more. More. Then there's some extra fun coloring pages and extra activity pages that are in your Advent bag. So oh. make sure that you're working on those. Wow, that looks like a lot of fun, boys and girls. You need to, to have mom and dad help you with some of them, I think, but boy, will that be fun to do during the Advent. You're getting ready for the birth of Jesus. That's so fun. Yes, and then if you guys do any of the activities, you are welcome to post pictures to our Kids Club Facebook group, and then we can interact back with you and comment on your activity or your pictures. Oh, wow. And we would love to see and hear how you're enjoying your Advent day. So that way we can work on it with you. Oh, that would be great because we don't get to see you in person right now. So that would be cool to see your pictures. Right. One more news item. Oh, so you should also have gotten another small bag, which will just be probably like a baggy size bag again for today as you're watching. So there'll be some things that you'll be doing with us. We'll do another craft and some other things and other pages that you can also do as you have time. And that will help you think about peace. So make sure that you check your mailbox or your porch to find your next Kids Club packet. Yeah, that's peace, not peas. Yeah, but maybe you could have peas for supper, if you like. It's time now for the Kids Club Players. And our star today is Maple Sawbuck. Yoo-hoo! Oh, you! No, you said it isn't Maple Saw Buck. Uh, if, if it isn't me, then who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who am I? Who, for the love of buttermilk biscuits, tell me. It's okay. It's okay. You're Maple Saw Buck. Who? Oh, I knew that. Say there, what say we get this, this churchin' over with and Get down with some grub, shall we? Well, uh, Maple, I I'm really sorry you're hungry, but you're going to have to wait. We need to have church. You can eat later. Oh, no. Don't you start using your fancy city work folk words on me like that with all your nouns and verbs and gobbledygook. I'm here because the whole point of today's lesson is food. Oh, Maple, you're mistaken. That's not what it's about. Steak. See, what did I tell you? You can't fool a lumberjane, although I've never tried steak on a pizza before. Pizza? I haven't said anything about steak, let alone a pizza. Oh, yes, you have. I got my eyes of a weasel and the ears of a rooster. I keep them under my pillow at night. And and that's beside the point. I heard you just as plain as day talking about how Jesus is going to give us pizza. Pizza? Pizza? Oh, wow. I think I get it. Maple? What I actually said was Jesus gives us peace. Pizza. It's going to rain down pizza from the sky. Giant piece of pies. Going to get flung. They're going to get flung down through the air like heavenly Italian UFOs. 
There's going to be pepperoni, Canadian bacon, pineapple. Ooh, and my favorite, mayonnaise, creamed corn, buckwheat, and trout. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, try some, city slicker. It'll put hair on your toes, like me. <laughs> well, that's even worse. Abel, you've got to listen to me. I said nothing about Jesus giving us pizza. What I did say was that Jesus wants to give us Peace. Peace? Well, that's different. Piece of what? Piece of pie, piece of cake, piece of pie cake, also known as cake. No, no, and no! You're thinking peace as in P-I-E-C-E, -E, and I'm talking about peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. You know, peace. Like the kind of peace in your heart you need in hard times? Boy, that sure is a good feeling to have. Better than feeling any feeling mayonnaise, buckwheat, and cream corn and trout pizza could give you. It sure is good to know that Jesus is there for us. Yeah, it is. And Jesus is always there, right by our side. And the boys and girls are going to learn that today. At least they were until we got <clears throat> interrupted. Boy, I sure do hate it when people interrupt, don't you? Well, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, I... Uh, well, I might as well be heading out. All this talk about pizza has got me hangry. You mean hungry? No, hangry. It's, it's when you get so hungry, it makes you kind of angry. This is Mabel Sawbuck reminding you, don't eat wood unless you're a woodpecker. And, and if you must, and if you are, wear a helmet. Bye-bye. All right, boys and girls, it's time for our Bible story. Do you think it might have something to do with peace? Listen really closely and see if you can find out how peace is in our story. Today's story is called Jesus Calms the Storm, and it's written by Jill Kemp. And it's illustrated by Richard Gunther. Okay. This story is written about, about in three books of the Bible. Usually it's just one, but this one is written in the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. One lovely evening, Jesus and some of his friends got into a boat to row across the lake. Jesus had been busy all day teaching people about God. He was very tired, so he laid down and went to sleep. The wind began to blow and the waves got bigger and bigger. And the little boat bobbed up and down. And Jesus' friends got very frightened. And they didn't know what to do. So they said, Jesus, Jesus, wake up, wake up. Please help us. The waves are too big and we're not safe. Please, Jesus, please, they shouted. Jesus stood up in the boat and he said, Wind and waves be still. And the straight away, the wind and the waves stopped. 
Jesus' friends were surprised. Jesus can even tell the storm to stop. Only God can do that, they said. They knew that they were safe with Jesus. The Bible says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. Now it's time for a peace talk with Miss Stacy. We can think of peace that the world gives us, and I have some pictures that might make you think of things that are calm and peaceful. This is a spa. You might go to a spa, you might get a massage, they might light some candles and they might use some hot stones and, and rub on your back and that might feel really good and make you feel peaceful. Or maybe when you think of peace, you think of sitting at the beach on a nice the waves are very gentle and calm. Or maybe you're walking along and seeing the beautiful trees in the fall. Those are things that are peaceful, peace in this world. But you know what, boys and girls? As beautiful as those things are, that kind of peace doesn't last. It doesn't stay with us forever. The leaves will fall off and then they'll be all empty and it doesn't look nearly as peaceful. And the waves, sometimes the waves will get really high when I get our story. And that's not peaceful. So we have to think of a different kind of peace, not the peace of the world. We need the peace that Jesus gives us. So we're going to look in the Bible at Acts chapter 27, verses 21 through 25. No one had eaten for a very long time. Finally, Paul called the crew together and said, Men, you should have listened to me in the first place and not left Crete. You should have avoided all this damage and loss. But take courage. None of you will lose your lives, even though the ship will go down. For last night, an angel of God, to whom I belong and to whom I serve, stood before me and he said, Don't be afraid, Paul. For you will surely stand trial before Caesar. What's more, God in his goodness has granted you safety for everyone sailing with you. So take courage, for I will leave God. It will be just as he said, and we might be shipwrecked on the island, but we'll still be at peace. So that's important to remember. Even if we have a problem or something goes wrong, we can still have peace with Jesus. Today's power verse is the same as it was last week. So if you'll all say it with me, it will be everybody together this time. I, I am leaving, leaving you, you with, with a, a gift. gift. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I can't read it that way. So we're going to hold it between us. I can't read it backwards and upside down and every which way. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give the is world a, oh, is a gift that regrets it up to the world and not give. So don't be troubled or afraid. John 14, 27. Okay, now we're going to say it like maple saba. Are you ready to do that? Everybody. I hope you can see it because I still have to be able to see it myself. So, are you ready? I am leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and heart. And the gift I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. John 14, 27. Did you 
guys all do that? Okay. Keep thinking about that verse because it's really important because Jesus is giving you a gift, the peace of mind and the peace in your heart. So that's something that um, the world can't give you. No matter how many things you have, no matter how many games you have, no matter how many toys you have or clothes, they will not give you peace in your mind or peace in your heart. So think about that. That's something only God can give you. Paper is so floppy. Oh, this is a fun time. This is time for Miss Stacy's creative crafts. Ooh, I like this time. Right. There's some supplies that you'll find in your activity bag on your porch or in your mailbox. We're going to do it together now, but if you didn't find your bag yet, you can certainly do it later. It's quick and easy. Hmm, what do you think my object is here? I think it's maybe the boat, like, like Jesus and his disciples were in. I think it is a boat too. And you're going to get everything that you need. And this is a little like a meat tray and a, and a popsicle stick and a, let's turn them around this way, and a sail for the boat. So, the first thing that you're going to do is carefully poke a little hole in the center of your meat tray with your popsicle stick. Just a little hole. Doesn't have to be very big. No, if you make it too big, it'll sink. It will. And you need a glue stick. And you'll get a little sail already. And you're going to put some glue. I'm going to put my glue on my popsicle stick. But you can put it on the sail until I put some on both places. That's a good idea. I Just think maybe sure. it'll really stick if you put it on both places. That's a really good idea. And it is a boat. It looks just like this one. It does, the boat from our story. Now, what I want you to do, with mom and dad's permission, put some water in a little tub or put some water in your sink and see if you can retell. Even your bathtub, yep. mom and dad say it's okay. Yep, the bathtub would work too. Anything that can hold water, but make sure that you ask, because we don't want to make a mess. No. But, so once you have your water, put your boat in, and then retell the story about Jesus and the disciples on the boat. And you might want to make it some little waves, some splashes, and see if the boat starts to rock. And then remember what Jesus is going to say and do. He said to the waters and the, and the wind and the waves, peace be still. And see then, watch and see if your boat comes back to rest. And it's peaceful. Nice and easy and fun cool. way to retell the story. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think that's really fun. I like that a lot. Oh, Miss Stacy, <laughs> I've got something different to do today. Oh, fun. I'm going to test you. And it's called Brain Strain. Oh, my brain is really kind of strained, so I, I hope I can do okay. Yeah, well, well, we're, I'm going to ask you questions All right. about the story and see if you can come up with the right answer. I, I, I'm feeling at peace because I have Jesus, so okay, go ahead. Okay, well, this is the first question. And boys and girls, see if you can come up with the right answer, too. It's kind of like the trivia that I put on the... Um, on the screen when you're waiting. So this is the first question. What came up on the boat while the disciples were at sea? A, a storm, B, a fish, or C, a snowman? Oh, it's tough. 
but I think I'm going to go with letter A, a storm. You're sure? I am. Okay, let's find out if it's A. How many of you thought A? How many of you thought B? How many of you thought C, a snowman? Let's find out if Miss Stacy's right. Ah, oh, Miss Stacy, you're right. Okay. It was a storm. Well, I, I knew it wasn't a snowman. How did you know that? Uh, there wasn't so many in the story. Now, the, the waves might have brought a fish, too. But Oh, that's true. Okay, this is your second question. Okay. Where was Jesus while the disciples battled the storm? A, making a sandwich. He might have been hungry. B, asleep. Or C, with the disciples. This one's tricky. Ooh, this one is tricky. This is a tricky one. It's kind of both. Huh. Mm. Well, it tricky. didn't. I don't think it said anything about him being hungry or hangry like maple saba. So I don't think he was making a sandwich. Hmm. Asleep or with the disciples? Well, I'm going to go with letter B that he was asleep. Okay, let's find out. How many of you said with a sandwich, you're making a sandwich? That's kind of funny. <laughs> the answer is B, asleep. But you know what? If you said C with the disciples, I don't think that's wrong. No, because he was in the boat too. And yeah, he was with the disciples. So I think I would, I would say that one would be all right. Were you trying to trick me? I was trying to trick you. <laughs> well, I'm only giving you two today. Oh, okay. Because I know your brain is a little strained. Thank you. Okay. That was fun. It was. It's time for our sacred moment. You know, we do this every week just as a way to kind of uh, just remember our lesson and what it was about. So when I turn on our special candle today, I want you to think about peace and uh, what you think about peace today and the peace in your heart and the peace in your mind. Because we'd all like more peace in our world, but the peace we can control is the peace in our mind and heart. So just think about it and think about how you can feel more peaceful and how God can help you with that peace because he's the one that you want to think about. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Everybody ready? Okay, bow your head and close your eyes. Thank you for doing that. And you know what? I feel more peaceful just doing that. Just thinking for a few minutes about God and, and peace. It makes me feel peaceful in my heart. It does. And, and even though you might not light a candle every day at home, you can take just a few minutes and sit quietly and in a peaceful spot and, and listen and, and feel God's presence every yes. day. Yeah, that's a really good idea. It would be a great way to start your day. Oh, yeah. Or, or end it. Either yes. one. Either one. Well, it's, it's time for our prayer. We're almost done. Oh. Boy, this went fast today, Miss Stacy. It did. I, I can't wait. We'll be back again December 16th. So gonna... Oh, we're coming soon. Yeah. Let's bow our heads for prayer, please. Dear God, we thank you that you can give us peace no matter what we're going through, not peace of this world, because that'll go away, but real, true peace. You give that to us in, in our hearts because you are always with us. And when we are 
afraid or sad or even when we're happy we, we have that peace that comes from you and we are so thankful and we praise you lord for that opportunity and we're so glad that we can still have kids club although it looks different but we're so glad that we can still be together and all god's people said amen well miss stacy I sort of like you out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, but but that's okay because what we want to know, want you to know, is the next YouTube Kids Club will be on December sixteenth at um, two o'clock. So we want you to tune in then for the next one and make sure that you keep doing your Advent bags and the activities that are in your um, your piece. Uh, bag for today and maybe you have some left over from last week too but you can do them anytime it's okay when you have spare time you know and and uh, want to do something different so we uh, encourage you to do that and so make sure you tune in again we'll be so happy that you're there and make sure if you take pictures of any of the activities you do even when you float your boat um, we'd be we'd be real happy to see them posted on our um, kids club Facebook page, and then we'll be able to uh, comment on them. So, till next time, till we see you again. Peace, peace.